Warning. If the topic of psychological manipulation and emotional enslavement of women offends you, I want you to stop watching this video. And if you want to continue, you must agree never to use this knowledge to hurt women. Deal? Great. Let's start. Okay, I'll admit this to you. My girlfriend used to really push me to my limits. You see, she would purposely do things that would drive me crazy. For example, she'd pull her phone out and text other guys while we were talking. She would make decisions without consulting me first. She would make plans with me and then cancel at the last minute for something better. It took me a while to realize it, but I eventually discovered that I was being played. Over time, she ramped up her mind games with me to the point it was unbearable. I'll kid you not, she made my life really shitty. I needed help, so I went to the best mind I know to get advice. I'll tell you who I met in a while, but guess what? Now my girlfriend is like a docile little chihuahua who'd roll over on my command. Mind games are a thing of the past. In this video, I'll share with you what I've done to overturn the situation completely. You're in for a real treat, so watch all the way till the end, okay? Before we do that, however, I want to ask a huge favor from you. Please like this video because that will encourage me to create even more of these videos for you in the future. Find the red like button on the right hand side below this video and click it. Done clicking like? Awesome. Let's start. So you want to know if a girl is playing you and what to do if she is indeed playing mind games on you. Believe me when I say that I was pretty desperate for a solution myself. Frankly, my girlfriend Amanda was driving me insane and I had to put a stop to her nonsense once and for all. And so this was what I did. I went to seek the advice from a man named Derek Rake. Derek is the founder of the infamous dating system called the Shogun Method. And you know what? Shogun Method is entirely different from conventional dating guru and pickup artist tricks. In fact, it's the only dating system which is based on mind control and extreme persuasion in the world. More about Shogun Method later, but let me first tell you an interesting story about my meeting with Derek. And so I flew out to San Diego on a Monday morning to see him. During our meeting, Derek told me, mind games are a woman's way of trying to take control in a relationship. You've let her become the dominant personality. He was right. It was so obvious. I was entirely powerless in my relationship. What do I need to do? I asked him. You need to fight fire with fire. You need to manipulate her back. Does my situation sound familiar to you? I'll tell you exactly what Derek taught me in a moment. First, there are some telltale signs to look for if you feel as powerless as I did. And it doesn't matter if she's your wife, girlfriend, or just a girl you're trying to hook up with. They all display the same signs if they are playing you. So here's how to know if a girl is playing you. Ask yourself, does she purposely ignore your text messages? If a girl ignores your messages, she's trying to tell you you're not worth her time. It's a bitchy move, but one which is very common, unfortunately. Does she flirt with other guys in front of you? This is the most offensive thing a woman can do in front of a guy she knows is into her. When a girl does this, she's trying to incite jealousy in you. It makes her feel good knowing she can toy with your emotions however she pleases. Fucked up, right? Does she constantly bail on you? So you planned to meet up for a coffee and you get a last minute text to tell you she's too busy? This is a surefire sign of getting played. If any of these sound familiar, then she's stringing you along like a puppet. Take it from me. I know how it feels. I've been there myself many, many times. If you're being played, stay calm. There's an easy way to fight back. And you'll learn about that next. Continue watching this video. You see, Derek Rigg taught me a simple technique which made my problems a thing of the past. He said to me, You know, Fredo, the reason you are being played is that you had become the chaser in your relationship with Amanda. You need to take back control. Startled, I asked him, So what's the solution then? How do I take back control? His one-word answer, fractionation. If you've never heard of it, don't worry. 
It's very easy to learn, and once you've learned it, you'll have the ultimate advantage over women. And here's how. With fractionation, you'll have the ability to put any woman under your control and authority. It's really that powerful. Make no mistake though, this technique can be really manipulative by nature. For this reason, most people who know it would rather shut up about it. After all, the fewer people know about this technique, the better it would be for them. Makes sense, right? And because fractionation appeals to the subconscious brain, every woman is susceptible to it. Your girlfriend, your colleague, the hot stranger at the bar. Everyone, no exceptions. So how do you use fractionation on women? Well, here's how fractionation works its magic. You'll induce alternating sensations of pleasure and pain in a woman to make them fall into a trance. The result is a hypnotic state which places the woman entirely within your control. The mind games she'll be playing will be long gone because she'll be too scared of pushing you away. If that sounds a little complicated, don't worry. There's a shortcut which you can use to learn the technique quickly and easily. Watch this video until the end where you'll find a resource on how to use fractionation and other mind control tactics on women. When used correctly, fractionation can get a woman under your control, enslave her, and make her fall in love with you far quicker than the usual pickup artist tricks. I have to warn you though that it is not possible to undo the effects of fractionation. Once you have enslaved a woman using this technique, dumping her will cause irreparable damage to her psychology. Therefore, please use this technique responsibly and ethically. To learn how you can use Shogun Method and Fractionation to manipulate a woman's mind and enslave her to you emotionally, go to FractionationHypnosis.com or click on this link right now.